Dante's Inferno is a very interesting story. It's a descent into hell, eh? And it's, it's actually one of the places that we sort of derive a, the popular conception of hell was partly based on Dante's, on Dante's imagination, on his work. And what Dante was trying to do was to discover the hierarchical structure of evil. And, you know, you might think there's a hierarchical structure of good, some things are better than other things, but there's also a hierarchical structure of evil. Some evils are greater than other evils. And he put betrayal in the, in the, in the lowest part of hell. Right, so if you were betraying people, you were right beside Satan himself. And so, and I think that's good, that's very smart. Well, Dante was a genius after all. Um, and I think the reason for that is that, you see, if someone trusts you, they're laying their vulnerability open to you. Now, they might just be naive, let's say, and that's, we won't think about that, because you're just a child if you're naive. You can still be betrayed, but if you're an adult and you trust, it's often because you if you're an actual adult, it's you willingly open yourself up, knowing that you could be hurt, right? Because you're not naive anymore. So you decide to trust and you say, I'll open myself up. And I know that I'm laying myself open to you if you choose to use that power. And then that's a good thing to know. You know, if you've been hurt as a child or hurt as a naive person, you might say, well, why should I ever trust again? Which is a really good question. And the answer is the reason you trust again once you're an adult is because you're courageous. You're, you're courageous. It's an act of courage to trust. And the reason it's useful is because if you trust someone, you open the door to reciprocity and negotiation and cooperation, and you entice the best part of the person forward. And so it's a, it's a courageous act. But then if you betray someone, then what you've done is you've taken the best part of them, which is the part that will courageously trust, you know, with open eyes, right? And you've stuck a dagger in that. And so you've purposefully damaged the best part of them. And so that's why it's such an egregious fault. And, and it's often people don't recover from that sort of thing. You, if you betray someone badly enough, you can, you can damage them. Like, you can give them post-traumatic stress disorder if you, really, if you really put your mind to it. And, you know, that's not just a psychological disorder. If you have post-traumatic stress disorder, it produces permanent neurological alterations that make you more neurotic, more sensitive to negative emotion, really for the rest of your life. Like you can, you can recover from it to some degree, but stress will tend to re-instantiate the PTSD. So you, you hurt someone, and it's not merely, psycho, not, not that psychological is merely, but it's not merely psychological, right? It's, it's fundamental physiological damage.